Yes! Yes! Look at this! I'm going to build a house on here. It's going to be so awesome. Good day friends, welcome or welcome back to Pixar, depending on whether you were here a week ago when we live streamed this for about 3 hours. This game is the new game uh, by the makers of ARK, or actually it's like a, a company that's related to the company that made ARK. I'm not entirely sure, but it's not stolen. Some people thought it was stolen from ARK, no, it's just the same maker or some makers that have to do with the makers of ARK, basically. Um, it's kind of a combination, as people have said, it's kind of a combination between ARK and Minecraft, which I think is awesome. Okay, what should I look like? I've saved some characters. <laughs> I think I'm going, just going to be green haired guy. Um, I'm going to call myself Tommy. Do I need to make some changes or am I... I'm perfect, isn't it? Here we are, yes! Time for a new let's play of a game that's going to be my new obsession. Look at it, look at it. I love this game so much. I love this game so much. It's just Ark, but like a, a blocky version, a voxel version of Ark, which is so cool. Okay. Um, before I start, I have to set some goal, and I have already thought of a goal. Um, if you guys were here when I live streamed uh, last week, I had this dinosaur hat, this T-Rex hat that I got from um, just playing creative mode. I got it from the creative inventory, just this dinosaur hat. Um, I want to see if I can get that hat um, in the normal mode, in playing normal survival. Run shift W. I know how to play. Oh, right. It's because I just made a new character. It's going to tell me how to play. That's okay. Um, let's see. First things first. Berries. Very important. Berries. And level up already. Oh, God. XP is so fast when you just get into the game. The XP is so fast. Wait, did I just level up twice? I think I just level up. I just leveled up twice. I'm level three. I'm always so bad at picking what to put this stuff in. I'm going to level up the amount of weight I can carry, that's I think, and maybe my attack damage. Okay, so yeah, I've actually not played Ark in a really long time, and some people have asked me to play Ark again, and I was actually on purpose uh, not playing it, because I knew this game was coming out, and I knew as soon as this game came out, I would play it on a channel. So uh, that's why I haven't played Ark in so long, also I'm just a noob at Ark, so of course I'm also a noob at this game, but at least I hope that if I I play this game a lot, I will get a little bit be better at normal arc as well. Okay, am I level 5 already? You need to be level 5 to tame these uh, Pachycephalosaurus. And those are really helpful at the starting area. Okay, so one more level. Then I can tame a Pachy or two. And I will use them as bodyguards. So, if you really, really haven't heard anything about this game so far... Um, there's a few things that are really different from from normal arc um, first of all of course uh, it's made of blocks kind of like minecraft and creative verse and stuff like that um, apart from that you can only tame dinosaurs for a limited amount of time which has been uh, a lot of people said it really bothers them that wait am i level up already a lot of people say it really bothers them that you can only tame a dinosaur for I think it's three. They said it's three days, but I don't mean I don't know if they mean in-game days or real-life days. But uh, it says you can only tame a dinosaur and everything for three days, and then I think I'm not sure if it disappears or if it just becomes wild again. Uh, but a lot of people said that they don't like that. This has not been a problem for me because, as you guys all know. Um, I, my dinosaurs never even last three days. They just die <laughs> before, before I die before three days. My dinosaurs all die before they even get three days uh, old or three days tamed. So that has never been a problem for me. Um, apart from that, one huge difference uh, in this game is that you can... Um, is that there is magic. There is magic in this game. You can learn magic. You can uh, go into a magical forest. There's a lot of different creatures other than dinosaurs. A lot of like werewolves, zombies. There's a lot more stuff that's not in normal arc. A lot of magical stuff. So that's really cool as well. Okay, I'm going to tame this Pecky. The first, the first tame will be a female Pecky. Okay, I hope I can make this into a long let's play. Okay, um, I'm going. I'm going to call you the one because. You are the first one. You are number one that I have tamed. Okay, now I'm going to tame another one. Just just in case. And there we go. 
I'm going to call you dos. That's like, isn't that Spanish for two? I don't actually know. I don't actually know. I cannot think of good names right now. Um, all that I know is that I'm probably going to have to make a base. Might as well start as fast as I can with a base. And also, I want to know exactly what I need to make the T-Rex helm that I had in the stream. I'm probably going to have to either kill or tame a T-Rex. Both of which sound really hard to do. Oh no, I'm going to have to do one of those things, probably. Okay, should I just build a house up, up on this hill? I guess I can just start building a house here and it could just be the temporary house until I find something better. I guess that's what I'll do. Okay. Okay, can I already make... Oh, it's a trike. Look at how cool this trike is. Oh, level 60. That's pretty strong, I think. Oh, wrong button. Um, craft. A club, a pickaxe, and an axe. Put those in my inventory. There we go. Now I've got a club and a pickaxe and an axe. So this should help me out. Another thing that I would really like to do is tame a Pteranodon, which is what we managed to do during the livestream. We actually, at the very end of the livestream, we managed to tame a Pteranodon. Uh, but I wasn't high enough level to fly on it yet. If you can fly around, oh, that would be so awesome. Then I, That would be perfect uh, for finding a place to live. Anyway, I cleared this area and I guess I'm going to build something here. Okay, now what I'm going to do might look strange to you guys, but I'm going to build up really high. Reason why I'm going to do this is because in this area, you actually have sauropods spawning. You know, if you don't know what that means, long neck dinosaurs spawn here. Uh, they're absolutely huge. When they walk, the entire ground shakes. And if I put a little house down here, they might walk around and it it does, they don't break anything, it's just really annoying to have them around. So if I build a really tall, a really high house, really high up, uh, I think I might. they might not bother me as much. Is this high enough, you think? Hmm. I'm not really sure if this is high enough. Do you think this is high enough for a sauropod? I think this is high enough. Uh, do you actually think I can survive jumping down here? Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm just going to try. Oh, that actually hurts. That actually hurts. But I don't actually know how to get down. I have to make a ladder or something. Actually, I guess I can make a ladder. Yes. There we go. Okay. So I've made the ladder. Oh god, I'm going to have to jump down again. Ow. Ow. That hurts. Okay, how high did I even make it? I think 15. I think 15. I'm going to have to do it again. Okay, so how do you actually build... How do you actually build... Like, in a straight line. I don't actually know how to build... If I want to build a line between these two pillars, I don't actually know how to do it, to be honest. I think I did it before, but I forgot how I did it. <gasps> yes! Oh god, you have to be really careful, though. Okay, 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 I'm doing it, you guys. I'm doing it. I hope I don't fall. I hope I don't fall down. Yes! Please don't fall down. Please don't fall down. Yes! Ah! Ow! Ow! I messed up, you guys. I messed up. Uh, okay. Next pillar. Next pillar. Why can I not place it? Why am I too far away? I'm not even that far away from it. I don't understand why I cannot place a block over there. When I'm step. What? That doesn't make any sense that I cannot place a block. Ah, daytime. I love daytime. Okay, so for some reason I cannot connect these... I cannot put anything here. I don't understand at all. Is it too close to the ladder or something? It doesn't. I don't understand. The ladder is on that side of the block. So why would I not be able to put a block here? Is that a glitch? Is that intentional? Is it because it's above a dinosaur? Wait, it's above some grass. Hmm. No, 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 no! Oh, God, I'm so bad at this game. Is it because it's above some grass? I could even use the lower part of the house down there to keep the dinosaurs. I might put some fences just below the pillars. Of course, I'm going to make the pillars bigger because blocks can actually just be destroyed by some dinosaurs. So if all blocks... Wait, if all blocks would be destroyed, would it collapse or would it just float? I'm not actually sure. Now that I think of it, 
in this game, it might just be like Minecraft. I'm sorry, I'm just used to other games where it collapses when that happens. But I'm actually not sure if it would collapse in this game. How did a poop get here? Did... It was one of those flying dinosaurs. Why? Why? Why would you poop on my house? You guys are so mean. I'm getting bullied. They want to bully me away from this place. <laughs> I could have also just made a house underground. Now that I think of it, I'm putting so much effort into this. I could have just dug a hole down and just sort of lived there. Because you don't have to make walls. There, you can make actual proper walls in this game. Like out of material or you can just use dirt. <laughs> I could have just dug down and just used that cave as my house. Pl pl yes! Yes! Look at this! I'm going to build a house on here. It's going to be so awesome. I think this is high enough. If it's not high enough, then I'm going to build even higher. Um, if you guys haven't seen the stream or don't know the game, then you probably don't know the sauropods that exist in this game. They are, of course, uh, just like uh, the real sauropod dinosaurs. Just these huge, long neck dinosaurs. But the thing is that their tail just goes through everything. It doesn't destroy anything. But their tail and neck and everything, it just goes through everything. So you might be, if you have, an how, if you have a house down there and a sauropod walks by, you might just, just get slapped in the face with a tail. It's really annoying and the entire ground starts shaking and stuff like that. So I don't know, I don't know. I might be the only person in this game who actually, who is actually sort of annoyed by that. But to me, that's really sort of an annoying thing. So I hope that they... Um, I hope that they sort of change that or move it out of the starting zone. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why I cannot place a block specifically here. Like, I removed the grass that was under it. Now there's nothing under it and I'm so confused. Is it a glitch? Is it... It's not under something either? That is such a weird glitch. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I'm sorry if this was just me building. I mean, that's what it was. Uh, so it might be a little bit of a boring first episode. But I think we've started what could potentially be a really cool... Uh, at least a cool design for a house. I'm not sure if I like the location of it. Of, if that's perfect yet. Because I'm too new to the game to know any of the biomes other than the starting biome. Um... So maybe I'll end up actually wanting to live somewhere else like a magic forest or a dark forest or a golden forest or a, a mountain forest. There's so many forests in this game or the frozen lands or the desert. I don't know what would be the perfect place to live in this game. Uh, but we will learn as we learn more about this game. But I think this is going to be an awesome house. It's going. I'm going to build a, a hut up there and I'm going to put some fences in between these pillars. So then I can have the dinosaurs in here. I think that's an awesome design. I think I, I really like that. So tell me what you think about this and what you want me to do. I think I'm going to try to get a T-Rex helm. I think I think that's something I really want to do. Just have a T-Rex helm in this game. Just like in a live stream because it's so cool. Uh, and I love being a T-Rex of course. So apart from that I hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. <laughs>